Like this video and subscribe to the channel right now and get one week of amazing luck. We humans have long been attracted by immortality. For millennia, many individuals have looked for the key to eternal life. But it appears that, in some ways, our animal pals have already achieved it. Today, we'll examine 10 species that may survive death. Keep an eye out for number 1, this creature may very well be immortal. Number 12. Radiation-resistant bacterium. One of the toughest surviving species ever discovered by humans is this extremophilic bacterium. You know, the fact that this species is also mentioned in the Guinness Book of World Records is kind of a huge deal. A very radiation-resistant microbe called Dinococcus radiodurans can also withstand extremely low temperatures, dehydration, vacuum, and even acid. Scientists find it to be quite intriguing since we're talking about radiation doses that are thousands of times higher than those that would cause human death. What the heck does it even do? The thing is, it doesn't really survive any of the radiation. Instead, the bacterium has the capacity to repair DNA damage caused by such external conditions. So basically, no matter what you throw at it, this microorganism can repair itself without any trouble. Number 11. Jellyfish. Humans have always toyed with the idea of immortality, but there is a creature out there that has pretty much achieved the impossible. There is a type of jellyfish that has the ability to cheat time and go back to an earlier stage of its life cycle, essentially causing itself to live on forever. When this immortal jellyfish dies, it sinks to the ocean floor and the process of dusk starts. Except that this is not the kind of decay that we're used to seeing instead of perishing forever, the cells of the jellyfish regenerate into an earlier life stage and the cycle begins once again. So while humans were searching the heavens and all parts of the earth for the secrets behind immortality, the truth lied in the ocean this whole time. Number 10. Beheaded snake. Snakes should not only be feared in their life state, in actuality, deceased snakes can be just as harmful. That's correct, even if a snake appears to be dead, you shouldn't let your guard down. Take a look at this snake that has been beheaded, despite having had a portion of its body amputated, it still moves. Did you know that a chef in China was bitten by the decapitated head of the snake he had sliced up while attempting to prepare the rare delicacy known as cobra soup? As crazy and ironic as that sounds, that story is true, so yeah, you have good reason to fear these fangs creatures after their death as well. Number 9. Dancing Squad. Would you ever be brave enough to consume this squid top dish? You might be astonished to learn how many people would die for the concept of having your supper move about. This squid, which appears to have been cooked, begins to toss its tentacles when soy sauce is applied, almost as if it were trying to escape. Yes, it's a little disgusting, but the whole thing is also quite intriguing. Some of you might be considering if eating such an animal is even moral. You see, even though the squid has passed away and no longer has brain activity, its tissues still react to outside stimuli, but don't be concerned. The pain is not felt by the animal. It can't process the sensory signals without a living brain, therefore if you can muster the courage to eat this meal, it will be well worth it. Number 8. Miracle Mike. What's the longest you can imagine a chicken surviving after its head has been cut off, a few minutes or few hours at best, you'd be right in most cases, but not when it comes to this miracle chicken. Meet Mike, the headless chicken that literally lived for a year and a half after its head was chopped off. So how did this miracle come to happen, is it even scientifically possible? You see, Mike survived, because most of a chicken's brain is located at the back of its head behind the eyes. When Mike was beheaded some part of his brain was left off, and this part happened to control the breathing digestion and other bodily functions of the animal. And that's how Mike achieved national fame until his death in 1947. Number 7. Flatworms. There is a certain species of flatworm that can reanimate itself even after being chopped in half. Planarians are incredibly frightening creatures, if you split one in half, each half would grow new parts, and you would soon be dealing with two planarians. There is a reason why these species are frequently referred to as regeneration masters. It sounds like a pretty great superpower to have to truly be able to regenerate any portion of your body after an amputation. Number 6. Alligators. Did you know that alligators have a special method for hibernating that is unlike anything we have observed in other animals? 
If he didn't know any differently, he may assume that the alligator had frozen to death. Alligators can enter a state of inactivity unheard of the rest of the year by slowing down their metabolism and heart rate during the interesting process known as bromation. These alligators are effectively allowing themselves to become frozen with the full confidence that once the water temperature returns to normal, they will thaw out and resume their normal behavior. Although it isn't exactly the same as passing away, it is an innate behavior. The drop in heart rate makes one question if the alligators were even alive during the entire process. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 5. Tardigrades. Tardigrades, known colloquially as water bears or moss piglets, are a phylum of eight-legged segmented microanimals. They were first described by the German zoologist Johann August Ephraim Guz in 1773. Anything that tries to kill a tardigrade will quickly realize they encountered practically immortal animals. These creatures are capable of sticking around for thousands of years or even indefinitely by entering a state of cryptobiosis, whereby their metabolism comes to a halt, says Pastor. In addition to being extremely difficult to kill. Number 4. Cockroaches. That these minor bugs would make this list shouldn't be a surprise. Because of their legendary persistence, cockroaches are frequently mentioned as the species most likely to survive a nuclear war. Some people even assert that they are headless. They can even continue to live for two weeks, which helps scientists comprehend how these bugs can survive being beheaded. We must first comprehend why we frail people couldn't. First of all, humans bleed, and when a guy loses his head, he bleeds profusely. Cockroaches, on the other hand, don't have that issue. Since they have an open circulatory system and low to no blood pressure, if their head bursts off, the wound will spontaneously coagulate and become visible. And secondly, and this should go without saying, our skulls kind of hold our brains, which are a really vital part of our bodies and without which we would not be able to operate. Without a head, it is difficult to breathe, eat, or drink. Cockroaches, on the other hand, breathe through tiny openings on their body called spiracles, therefore they don't require a head. A headless cockroach will eventually starve to death, but it will take weeks for them to do so. Number 3. Cooked Octopus. One of the most interesting creatures known to man has to be the moving octopus. Along with being extremely bright, it also has an intriguing rest of its physiology. Did you know that an octopus's brain doesn't actually control its arms? Instead, each tentacle has a separate little brain network that controls movement. As a result, even after being severed, an amputated octopus arm maintains its same behavior for up to an hour or more. Another well-known Korean dish uses raw octopus that is so recently caught that the tentacles are still wiggling when it is served. Pair that up with some garlic and soy sauce and you have one of the most popular dishes in Asian cuisine. Number 2. Salted Frog Legs. Did you know that a pinch of salt is sufficient to temporarily revive some muscular activity in a dead frog? Okay, so it won't bring the frog back to life, totally. Consider these salted frog legs. The way they tremble when salt is added is almost frightening. The problem is that muscle fibers have underutilized reserves of the substance adenosine triphosphate. If you're not aware of the term, it generally refers to the primary source of energy in a living organism. As a result, when a pinch of salt is dusted on frog legs, a chemical is released, causing the legs to twitch and move. Number 1. Lobsters. Have a look at this dead lobster that momentarily started moving even after a whole year of being frozen, and this time we didn't even give any external stimuli either. No salt, no soy sauce, the nerves simply came back to life after being thawed. So how do you explain this bizarre phenomenon? It would be one thing if we had at least added something like salt to it to stimulate the coordinated movement of ions, but no, the reason behind the wiggling tail is entirely different. It's possible that the lobster was frozen up so quickly that the total damage to its muscle cells was minimal, so even a little amount of heat caused the nerves to come back to life. Whatever the actual underlying reason might be, it's a pretty cool phenomenon nonetheless.